Now we talked uh, before about studies that show smartphones and tablets are keeping so many kids from getting a good night's sleep. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us how planned changes in school could make the problem even worse. Michael Tigg is a busy man. He's a father of six. I have three boys and my middle son, Shane, he taught me a valuable lesson. About these addicting devices. They're great, but a recent study shows they're perpetuating a problem that more kids are dealing with these days, insomnia. He'll be falling asleep in class merely because of his, his, his um, use of his iPad or his uh, smartphone. Doctors say melatonin is what gets you to sleep and it's released through darkness. So if you turn on a tablet or a phone, this is like turning on a bright light in your brain, which can keep you awake. And not getting enough sleep can be dangerous, leading to car crashes, obesity, and mental health issues. Plus a major lack of focus. All of those things would be improved by just allowing them to get sleep that matched their circadian rhythm. And that sleep is about to get interrupted even more. Hillsborough County is considering moving high school start time even earlier than the current 730 start. And the impact could be huge. The study says if middle and high schools nationwide started at 830, the economy would grow by $140 billion in 20 years because of improved graduation rates leading to better jobs. Dr. Bobby Hopkins says sleep needs to be a priority and making a high school kid go to bed at 10 to get the right amount of sleep may be unrealistic. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.